Is it okay to wish death? She was so scared that this test she may fail and lose her faith. So then, brothers and sisters, Allah wills. Maryam, alhamdulillah, what happened? She delivered the baby. And the baby spoke from underneath her. What did he say? He's telling her, don't be sad. Allahu Akbar. Don't be sad. Don't worry. Allah gave underneath you some pure water. Drink some water. Drink some water. There's some water under you. And shake that palm tree. Then some dates will fall upon you so you can eat. Allahu Akbar. Allah's teaching Maryam. Just, you know, you know, shake that palm tree. No one, you cannot shake a palm tree. I cannot shake a palm tree. But Allah's teaching Maryam, teaching you and I to take the means and Allah will take care of the rest. You do what you can and I will take care of you for the rest of your life. And indeed, Maryam alayhi salam, she took the advice. Then when she got that dates, yes, it fell. Allahu Akbar. The, the palm tree was shaken and the dates have fallen. Then that child says, Fakuli, eat. Mom, eat. Washrabi, drink, drink. Waqarri aina, relax and put your heart at ease. Fa'imma tarayinna min al bashari ahadan fakuli. And if you ever see anyone, if you ever see anyone, then tell them, Inni nadartu lirrahmani sawma, falan ukallim al yawma insiyya. Tell them, do, do a sign for them that I promise not to speak to anyone. I am fasting, not from food and drink. I am fasting from talking. And she took that advice. And Maryam alayha salam, brothers and sisters, she carries her son who was named Isa. He was named Jesus and she returned back to the people. Now her heart is strong. She did the work, she put the effort, Allah strengthens her. She brought that baby to the people and the people saw that. They were shocked, they were angry. Ya Maryam, O Mary, how Dare you, you, you did such a horrible act. Shame on you, Maryam. Oh, the sister of Aaron, your father was not a bad guy. And your mom was not an immodest woman. What's wrong, what's wrong with you? How can such act Come from such family. You come from a good family. Look at you. You got this child? Astaghfirullah. How could you? Remember, she promised not to speak. That was the instructions she got. Then she pointed at the baby. They said to her, what do you mean pointing to the baby? You want us to talk to the baby? We can't even talk to you. We can't even get a response from you as an adult. You want us to talk to a baby and expect a response? And the baby speaks. Isa ibn Maryam, Isa, Jesus, the son of Mary speaks. And the first thing he says, Qala inni abdullah. The baby spoke. The baby, not even few days old, he says, I am the slave of Allah. The first thing he told the world, I am the slave of Allah. Inni abdullah. Atani al kitab wa ja'alani nabiya. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given me the scripture and made me a prophet. I'm a prophet of God. Wa ja'alani mubarakan aynama kunt. And I am blessed. Allah made me a blessing wherever I go, wherever I am. Wa awsani bis salah. And he told me, Allah told me to pray. How was your prayers? Allah told me to pray. And to give charity, obligatory charity. As long as I'm alive. 
And after God told me to worship him, right after that, God told me to take care of my mom, to be respectful to my mom. That baby is saying this, people are shocked. How is this possible? Sentences that are powerful. And Allah did not make me a tyrant, an arrogant person, because whoever is not good to their mom is arrogant. Whoever is not good to their mom is someone who it needs to be humbled. May Allah protect us and make us respectful. Ameen. And look at what he says. وَالسَّلَامُ عَلَيَّ يَوْمَ وُلِتْ And peace be upon me the day I was born. وَيَوْمَ أَمُوتْ And the day I die. وَيَوْمَ أُبْعَثُ حَيَّا And the day I am resurrected. This, brothers and sisters, was the story of Maryam alayhi salam. How she went through all of this. But what happened next? The mission of Maryam has been fulfilled in a way that is pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Brothers and sisters, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Hasbuka min nisa'il alameen. Look what he says. He said, you want a role model from the woman to look up to? He said, it's enough for you to look at Maryam ibn Ta Imran. Maryam, Maryam, the daughter of Imran, the greatest role model for every woman and man. Hasbuka min nisa'il alameen. Brothers and sisters, you know what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said about Maryam and her level of worship? In this world, if you go to do a 100 meter race, usually in the Olympics, you have the males and then you have the females, two different categories. And people will complain, it's not fair to mix them together, the male and the female to speed because the biology and the body and things like that. You know what? Things like that may happen. Some people may be taller than the other, so they cannot reach to certain levels because of height, no problem. But the race to Allah is a race that anyone can join. The race to Allah, the competition to Allah, everyone can join, men and women. And you know what Allah said about Maryam? He didn't just say she beat the woman, but she also beat the men. How? What did Allah say about Maryam? And she was of the greatest devout worshiping woman. Min al qanitat? No. Wa kanat min al qanitin. She was the best of men and women. She was one who reached perfection. This was the story of Maryam alayhi salam. And Allah subhanahu wa taala. Many things happened after that. But I'll share with you one hadith. So something for us to learn about La ilaha illallah. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never had a son or a daughter, brother or sister, mom or, or dad. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Allah said, and we'll end with this, ready? He says, كَذَّبَنِي ibni Adam, My servant, my slave, the son of Adam, the children of Adam, the human beings, many of them, what happened, ya Allah? They made a lie against me. They claim that I cannot bring the dead people back to life. The people claim that I cannot bring the dead people back to life. And the children of Adam did another thing. They didn't just lie about me. And the children of Adam, they cursed me. How is it, Ya Allah? The children of Adam, they curse me. They curse Allah. We say bad things about Allah. How? He said, Allah says, some human beings, they say that I have a son. So Allah says, I'm free from ever having a spouse or ever having a child. So let's do our best to respect Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by not attributing things to Allah and not encouraging such attributions to Allah. And may Allah allow us to see Maryam alayhi salam in the highest levels of Jannah Ameen Rabbil Alameen. This was a summary. And inshallah, I will pass the microphone to Sister Hafsa. Jazakumullah khairan for your patience. Very interesting. I mean, I like the fact that you use the term role model to um, talk or describe Mary as to how people should look at her. She really lived a pure life. And that's really, really amazing. For this entire video, I'd just love to say that sometimes charity begins at home. So 
if the mother was a holy woman the father was a holy man they passed on those things or the father wasn't there but the mother brought up mary in such a way that she respected herself she preserved herself and she stayed true to god and was faithful to god and dedicated her time to god very very amazing message very amazing story very amazing everything i was wondering why it was showing zoom here and yeah otherwise a big shout out to the person that suggested this if you guys have something to say make sure to comment in the comment section below if you have something for us to react to drop the link in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to do it make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it to the friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video